What's up, neighbor? Hello. Hi, Welcome neighbor. Welcome back there, neighbor. How's it going? Pretty good. It's good. Doing neighbor. okay. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, especially. Which you better be. You better be. It is so much more entertaining and engaging via YouTube. I'm not going to lie. If you're listening to this anywhere else, I would definitely go pause. <laughs> Watch our YouTube listeners. and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Oh boy! Okay. I love watching the video because you can see our reactions, our it faces. Is. It's better. It is so much better. Because sometimes we say things, and I think it doesn't translate the same unless you see our reaction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're starting off today's episode with write-ins. Like two weeks ago, we asked you guys to react. Well, when we reacted to the Airy album, we asked you to react to the album out. Why can't I talk? Airy or Ari? I say Ari. I said Ari. Isn't it Ariana or Ariana? I think it's I saw Ariana. Ariana Grande. Yeah, she says Grandy too, so we can't trust her. Oh God. <laughs> so <laughs> no Grandy over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we have two write-ins reactions to Eternal Sunshine. The first one is so I'm in a happy, healthy relationship, but I've been blasting by. This album has healed a little part of me from the past. I've been telling my school school scorned scorned. I've been telling my scorned friends they need to listen. <laughs> no one is perfect, and I will always stream Aries music. Okay. Period queen. That's how I feel, too. Bye. It's just a bop. She's so much fun. Yeah. That's I'm actually... Also <laughs> it's cute that she said it healed a party from the past. Yeah. That was nice. I feel like that with certain songs on the album, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I've been listening to We Can't Be Friends, and I'm also in a happy, mm. healthy relationship, so... I'm with you. <laughs> we can still enjoy the music. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the, if the music is good, it's good. Period. Yeah. I want to know why your friends are scorned. <laughs> like, do I don't feel That's like such a specific <laughs> word choice. <laughs> Elaborate, please. Thank you. And next. the next write-in is, Am I crazy or does true stories sound like Crimea River by Justin Timberlake? Parentheses, I'm not crazy. I don't think you're crazy, but Wait. I also don't know what song you're talking about right now. This, this is, is a, a true story <laughs> about all the lies you fantasized about you and I. Do you think it sounds like Cry oh. Me a River? Cry Me a River. Can I play it? Yeah. Cry I'm yeah. just so curious because I'm... I don't know exactly how the words go, but I can hear the melody in my head. There's a hair stuck to my head. I do remember, and we did talk about that a lot of songs in the album reminded us of other things. Yeah. So. The al like the melody, I can kind of hear. The song instrumentals themselves are very different i would say i can i can hear similarity i kind of see where you're coming from I, I can hear them as cousins yeah 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 they're definitely related <laughs> you're not crazy no <laughs> i wish not. i could elaborate <laughs> yeah they're not twins though like I don't think there's no, a lot. No, she's not going to get sued for common. copying the beat, but... No. But I can hear it. Yeah. You're not crazy. Thanks for writing in. Yeah. I didn't listen to Olivia Rodrigo's new song. They're so. really good. <gasps> they are. They're really good. I just don't like the country-esque one. The girl I used to be. You know, I don't know that one. I have only listened to So American. <laughs> oh, my God. And what is it? Keep me away from my guitar or something? Scared of my guitar. Scared of my guitar. I love yeah. that one. I oh didn't my need God. to listen to more of them. So American literally has been on repeat <laughs> all day long since it came out. Oh, oh I got a Stranger is so good too. Stranger is a song that everyone can relate to. We all had someone that we used to be close with that we're not close with anymore. Aww. And that's the song for that. Oh my gosh. It's I so so sad but so good. Mm. Hozier released an EP. That was pretty good. A couple songs on there. Mm -hmm. um, and Too Sweet is on there. Mm. One of our listeners mm -hmm. actually DM'd us about <laughs> the Hoser and Britney. Broski <gasps> lore. Yeah. Wait, what did they say? Well, Brittany you Broski, gotta go check it. You should look at it. Okay. I was like, no, oh my God, this is so for Julia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm signed into the Neighbors TikTok and there's so many Britney Broski things. So many videos oh, of her. really? I don't, I don't know. Why. Scroll on our TikTok feed. <laughs> I don't know why. But, um... I was wondering the update if that was true or not if they had really hooked up. Well, is live that reaction? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think that from an interview I did five months ago, he's releasing music that he wrote two years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was getting 
getting like real tea out here. About this. It's basically her denying the relationship, but she signed an NDA. I choose to believe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I choose to believe. Wow. Can I just say one more thing about scared of my guitar? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That one reminds me, like, I don't, I don't know how to actually play guitar, right? But my metaphorical guitar is my journal or my notes app where I go to write my poems for when I'm sad. Mm. And, like, I will do that when I'm sad or really stressed out or there's a lot of my mind. And so when I'm not doing that, it's because I don't want to face the emotion that I'm feeling at that time. I'd rather just come back and release it after I've already processed it versus like processing it and like documenting that part out, okay. you know? So I, I totally relate to that song because sometimes you just like writing it down makes it real mm-hmm. yeah. or like doing something about it makes it real. It's, and yeah. sometimes you're just not ready to face that reality. So I feel that that's my favorite from the extended album songs. So American is on top. That song is so good. I do like it, but it doesn't, like if I had it's to pick happy. two, it's it's scared of my guitar and stranger. It's fair. But I can appreciate that the album starts with an American song and ends with an American song now. Hmm. All American bitch and so American. Oh, okay. I love that. Oh cute. I feel like it's complete now. Are the songs related in any way? No. Like What do you mean? The two American songs? I, don't think I was so. wondering. No. That interesting for her to well do that. in the first one it's all american bitch she's like singing more so about like herself yeah. and so american is about like i'm pretty sure it's the boy's point of view yeah of her. Okay. he says i'm so american so like that's cute because she's in love with an english boy mm. i thought she was dating prince royce is he not english he's dominican no she's not dating prince royce that's what i heard <laughs> no, she is not. Who is that's prince what royce? i heard <laughs> Not. The Chapa King. <laughs> Liv I Rodrigo love her songs. Is not <laughs> Who's no. who is she dating then? <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> I didn't hear that ever, Janina. Also, I'm so jealous. My cousin has tickets to go see to oh. go see her, and and I don't. And I'm like, how? How? I'm so jealous. Why didn't Why didn't you even think of asking if I would want a ticket? Because the answer was gonna be yes. So she's dating Louis Partridge. Office? Who? Oh, an English actor. I'll have to update Where the family group chat. Where did you hear chat. Prince Royce? The family group chat. Where did they see that on Facebook? Because it needs to be taken down. They don't even go on Facebook, that one. Where did they find that out? <laughs> Who is Prince Royce? <laughs> Watch out that you, King. Prince Royce. <laughs> Please. He's in my summer playlist. <laughs> Imagine if He's like in my really... cleaning playlist. <laughs> oh! I know this one. <laughs> Imagine live on this. Royce. <laughs> oh my god. That edit would so go hard. <laughs> Actually, I wish they were together. <laughs> Sorry, they're not together. <laughs> it's okay. We ship it, Olivia. If you oh ever want to go Spanish, god. please go Prince Royce. What's going on in the world? Imagine he's like married or something. <laughs> not dating Liv Yardigo, I can tell you that much. Okay. He looks older, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a turn. Okay. I think it's time for tarot. What do you think? Ooh. We're getting right into it. Yeah. Okay. The pressure. Now, I'm what are put my intentions going into this? Should we do like a changing of the seasons tarot? That's a good one. Astrology for the next month is like major chaos. Ooh. <laughs> like, we have two eclipses, oh, and they're in Aries. Astrologically, there was either just a lunar eclipse that happened on March twenty fifth. Or I have the date wrong and it's happening in April at some point. Oh, I think but it's happening. But there's a solar eclipse April 8th. Okay. I th- That's soon. Don't clock me on that. I think it is because <laughs> one of my classmates was saying how he's going to leave class to watch it. Yeah. Cause I'm like dumb excited about it. Are we in the view zone? I thought we were 90% view. No way. Oh. 90%. What time of day? I'd have to double check. Google it, guys. We'll come back to you. Yeah. I didn't know we could see it. So, and it's happening in Aries, which is like the most aggressive sign. So mm. everyone's like, yo, the energy for <laughs> the are. next month and a half, like, Uh-oh. just be prepared. <laughs> and then I think Mercury goes like right into retrograde afterwards, which is also chaotic. I hate when that happens. Mercury's I'm a Gemini. always in retrograde. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Gemini. I'm Mercury sorry. is my ruling planet. So if, if Mercury is in retrograde, I'm out of whack. And you'll be here to see it if you stay tuned on the Neighbors Pod. <laughs> yeah. Watch my mental breakdown. 
But they also say that, like, literally, like, when Gemini season starts, the Gemini good vibes kick in, and apparently the Taurus good vibes are, like, happening, oh, like, Taurus. all right now. So, I'm also not stressing out too, too much. All or at right. least I'm not trying to. One card, two card. Hmm. Let's do one. It's the death card. <laughs> Please, no. Haley, you should grab it, I think. Okay. <laughs> So what do we need to be aware of as we go through Ooh. this chaos? Should I flip it over? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Two of stars. Two of pentacles. Two of pentacles? Pentacles are coins also. There's which braille Which refers on these... to money. Is there braille on these cards? Feel that corner right there. Oh, wow. Or is that just is that, like an or is that bite? Is that Blaze's bite mark? Oh, that could be Blaze. <laughs> he did. It's like, wow. My lovely dog <laughs> destroys everything, or he tries to. I counted all my all my cards are counted for. Two of Pentacles is a young man dancing while juggling two coins in his hands. The infinity symbol links the coins, suggesting that the, this man can handle unlimited problems as long as he can manage his time, energy, and resources well. Oh my God! <laughs> so they're just telling you to time manage while we go through chaos over the next month, and honestly that's probably really solid advice yeah like lean into the chaos but just do your best to stay on top of it and manage yourself and your life mm. and we'll get through this okay just ride the chaos all right thanks guy thank you <laughs> thanks janina for the yeah tarot you're reading. welcome thanks for the reading the weekly tarot <laughs> Spring ends or April ends oh, versus no. outs. Restart. <laughs> Spring ends. <laughs> well, April. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> April ends versus April outs. Okay, what's hot? What's hot? Or <laughs> what's not for the month? Oh man, Janina. If you want our fashion ends, listen to our previous episode. I personally am not going to be referencing anything fashion. Same. First in for me is your content creation era. Bring your idea to life. I've actually been posting. I've got like three reels up. Ooh. So proud of myself. Okay. So proud of you. Like everyone starts somewhere. Baby steps. Just if this is something that interests you, just literally do it. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Period. Do we want to talk about the travesty that is our old videos that we just found? No. <laughs> no, I'm still in denial about Which that. Which ones? <laughs> Do you remember when we went thrifting and she was vlogging the whole thing? Oh, yeah, thing? I saw that. It was really cute. The volume was off. Oh, fuck. But then I said, Janina, if the volume was off on these clips, Shh. was the volume off when you saw Harry Styles? Wait. I was with you. No, yeah. no, I was with you. It's. I'm going to double check <laughs> it on my desktop. How have you not checked immediately, Janina? <laughs> Okay, this is me being scared of my desktop. But I like, don't want to face the reality. Even just reminiscing on the video, on the concert yeah. video. Like, oh, let's see Even what like happened. the next day I would be playing the video. Yeah, I'm just going to find concert audio from that day and just merge it onto mine and oh, make it a my personal project. Because <laughs> I'm not. actually in that much of a denial. That was going to be my plan. You never know. I mean, it was two separate occasions. I hope so. Let's hope for the best. Also tells me that the mic port is definitely damaged. So regardless, something's wrong with the camera. <laughs> I already contacted Canon about that. That's or okay. Maybe it doesn't support that accessory. Because didn't you yeah. have the other mic attached to it? The fluffy mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, really heartbreaking stuff over here. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm still not qualified enough to tell if the camera's broken <laughs> or if it was just the mic. Yeah. So regardless, I'd like them to look at my $900 camera. That's to true. To tell me if what's going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. But that's okay. <laughs> Despite this, I'm still posting. Minor setback. <laughs> I'll just film a major life update and reference those videos <laughs> that have no audio for like two seconds. Be like, look, I tried. Moving on. Okay, moving on. Someone else go. That made me sad. <laughs> Next in for me is Boom Chicka Pop kettle corn so good <laughs> it's fire right it's so good <laughs> um i bought some the other day because i can never decide what kind of snacks to bring to school and i was like oh i love kettle corn do that my dad ate half the bag you have to get the mini packs a girl in my class had the mini pack but it's just easier if they're you know i'll just put it in a little bag or whatever yeah but then my mom found a huge bag at costco 
Only three dollars. Period. <gasps> it was three. Oh my god! It was like three three sixty. That's that's inflation for you. Yeah, because the one incredible. at Shoprite was about four, and it was just smaller. You know, yeah. Small. Yeah. <gasps> that's wow. incredible. Mm-hmm. And he ate half of that. No, no, not the, <laughs> okay. not the Costco one. <laughs> okay. That would be animalistic, but no, no, he um, the uh, smaller half bag, your regular one. Yeah. And it's the same man that'll throw out your ice cream when you're not done. <laughs> it's the so disrespect. Saying. Oh my god, the way that my dad would have heard it from me already. It's always something, but yeah. That popcorn is so good though. <laughs> like incredibly good. I haven't had that one in a long time, so I'll pick it up next I time. I can't wait till the street fair. Do they still do street fairs? The yeah. kettle corn from the street fair in town. Mm-hmm. So good. I don't Delicious. like fresh kettle corn. Oh my god, but it's I think so it's good. Gross. When it's warm. Yeah. No, I think it's gross. Oh. I don't know. It's it tastes too sweet that's the point it's kettle corn yeah but that's why i don't reach for it a lot i mm-hmm. uh, love kettle corn my first in for april is apple tv specifically their tv series specifically palm royale this show just came out and i am obsessed with it who's in it so obsessed with it ricky martin's in it for one i remember that but love also that. i don't have apple tv tv actually. same I, I can't justify it. it well my dad likes apple tv so the whole family has it mm. that's like i like disney plus so my whole family got disney plus mm. the main character is Kristen wig kaya gerber is also in it mm. carol burnett ricky martin laura dern i feel like you guys know her face yeah mm-hmm. it's like a great cast but just so it's set in palm beach florida in like 1969 so entering the 70s so all the fashion is insane all of the sets are insane it's just so cool oh i like a time and it's piece. like the main character is trying to get into like the high society of palm beach so she's trying to get into this club hmm i kind of it so sounds good. good yeah it's really good love oh, it. i love apple tv you can get a trial i think the whole season's out i'm not done with it but you could probably watch it in a week okay next time you have a break yeah or just watch it at my house yeah <laughs> you'll True. just find me in your living room <laughs> down here <laughs> uh, hey. my next in pretty niche high quality small adapters i say mm. this because mm. i recently had to buy the apple sd card to type c reader because the previous one that i had gotten from amazon that was just like some not apple brand i truly don't know the brand that it was mm. don't ask It didn't read it with my iPad. It would like show up for like five seconds. I would go to try to save something and then it would just disappear. And that happened like for 10 minutes straight. And I wanted to throw my iPad across the room. And I was like, it's not the iPad. This thing is brand new and beautiful. I talked to Haley about it. She was like, oh, one of my friends only uses the Apple one. And it just transferred like instantaneously, basically. So I had to fork out the extra money. But, but you're only gonna buy it once exactly yeah. had i not had i just bought this one up front i wouldn't have had to buy two yeah i'm sure the other one will like work on my laptop or my desktop but mm-hmm. i got it specifically to work with my ipad mm-hmm. so i need it to work with my ipad yeah so invest in the high quality small little accessories because yeah. it's better than having to go out and buy it again twice the right way yeah. just do it right once dealing with technology you always have to invest i was just telling Janina today I had this like cheaper Amazon tripod for my phone and it already I've had it for like less than a year and it's already like wonky and won't stay straight. So I just got a higher quality one. I'm like, I should have done this in the first place. I know. Mm -hmm. If you're unsure about a hobby, though, I will say it's okay to go cheap at first and invest as you get more into it. And I say like, for example, scrapbooking can get overwhelming and it can get super costly. But a low, more scale version of that is journaling. Just make your journal into a scrapbook. And you can do that easier with stickers and like by printing stuff out. Scrapbooking, it's more like kits that they try to tell you. There's specific scrapbook paper that you have to use that fits the book. So that's a good example of like start small if you're unsure about it. And it could be a big financial investment. But if it's like a one time purchase per se, just invest in the higher quality thing Mm -hmm. invest in a basic piece over something from Shein. not gonna lie you know what i mean like you know our thoughts about that my next in is one piece workout i don't want to say is it a jumper yeah this girl last week was wearing a bright blue it was all the way to the ground not to the ground to her ankles Mm -hmm. so like leggings but connected to the top and then she had a cute little crop t-shirt over it it looks you know you know those old workout videos with the group classes it was so cute and i'm just thinking 
how I'd love to do that. But I also, I don't know, it's a little bold of a choice. It's so revealing. It like is. you're covered up, but it's so tight that it's. Yeah. Ugh. And you also, see everything. like, you have to pee, you have to take it all off. Yeah. But the vibes of it. It's cute, though, yeah. It you, was very Did you cute. tell her that you liked it? No, I should have. I was a little nervous. Aww. I don't want to be like, hey, where'd you buy? I don't know. I don't know her. I know Ari has a lot of those and also Aritzia. Ooh. I think Fabletics, too. Probably, yeah, I feel like they're common now. I'm a fan of rompers and jumpsuits. Yeah. My next in for April is external hard drives. So this kind of goes hand in hand with Janina's thing, but you guys wouldn't believe to watch a single episode that I've uploaded on YouTube for us, it's like 200 gigabytes oh my gosh. per episode. So my computer probably couldn't even handle that fun- like functionally. Mm-hmm. So having an external hard drive is so helpful because those things have like a terabyte of storage on them <laughs> and... They're just so, they're so easy to use. You can hold so much stuff on them. They're great. And they've been a lifesaver for our channel and our content. So wouldn't be here without them. <laughs> Lots of tech ins, you guys. Yeah. I'll have to start using mine more. My next in is doing. Just do the things you want to do. Authentically, because you want to do them. And that's that. It's as simple as that. If you want to do it, just do it as long as <laughs> just do it. you're not hurting other people or like doing anything bad or illegal okay yeah just want to throw that out there but like all good things that you want to do just go do them mm. it's only gonna make you happier mm-hmm. true that's it's as simple as that okay <laughs> like that's an in okay my next in is alternative slash folk music mm. and i was saying this because i was listening to Noah Khan, is that how you say it? I was a hater at first. I was seeing videos, wasn't loving it. And then I keep, you know, me listening to the radio lately. <laughs> I keep hearing <laughs> him play. And slowly I've been liking even more. And I feel like that type of music in this season, it's just yeah. nostalgic. It's a vibe. You can cruise in the car. It's calm, uplifting. It's You know, in the winter, I tend to listen to very emo like depressing music so (laughs) it's time to lift the spirits up and that's in for me oh my next in is awkward from mtv this was a show that i watched in like middle (laughs) school but the reason it's in is because brooke showfield from the canceled podcast is allegedly dating maddie mckibben bo murchoff i think is his real name but maddie mckibben was his name in awkward my worlds are colliding i love the canceled pod i love brooke and i loved maddie mckibben in middle school how old is he Eh, 30 something and how old is she late 20s oh okay because for some reason i'm thinking it was like a big age gap no 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 oh wow okay yeah world's colliding i love the show awkward if you guys ever watched it if you haven't watched it i think it's on paramount plus um i'll check it out it is so good i've never watched that so good so formative of me it's just (laughs) maybe who i am i love that show (laughs) I don't watch any MTV shows. <gasps> Those are my favorite in Again, middle school. When I say I, I don't watch yeah. TV, it's like I'm re- I'm referring to things like this because I have absolutely no idea what you're referring to. But I'm sure other people will be like, "Oh my god, I loved that show." I love can't that. relate. You never Sleepovers? watched Girl Code? Yeah. No. I never even saw like my dramatic sweet sixteen or whatever that was. My super sweet sixteen. Yeah. Cribs. Yeah. Nope. But I know the MTV, welcome to my crib, because I'll meme on that, but I've never actually seen the show. Yeah. Oh my gosh. At sleepovers, we used to fall asleep to the music videos just playing all the time. Gotta catch up on You gotta catch up on Lost Time, yeah. I know. I need, like, TV shows to watch. This is what I mean when I say I haven't watched TV. Like, I was straight up just watching Disney Channel. (laughs) (laughs) For 25 years. Like, my whole life. I'm still watching Wizards of Waverly Place. I'm so excited for that reboot. Oh, I wonder if Selena's going to actually be in a, like, a lot. I think she's going to be just in one episode. Oh, that's I whack. cannot imagine her being in a whole season. She's been acting again, though. And some people mm. are theorizing that her music career is g- done. At least, like, she's going to take a break from it and go that's back to acting. Mm. Let's be real. Yeah, but, like, her last single, like, isn't even doing good you know she's got an album she's already put two singles out so people are like damn i didn't like that last is, one no it was me yeah it Shit. didn't do it for me yeah go back to acting baby girl <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to see you on the screen okay Dang. love that my next in is spring just spring spring flowers spring vibe 
spring mood, spring aesthetic, just just spring. I just want to see spring everywhere. Yeah. It's still a little too wintry up in New Jersey over here. Mm. We need like blue skies. We need flowers starting to spring. We need the leaves coming back on the trees. We need spring ha- needs to sprung, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know I don't know what mother I don't know what signal Mother Nature needs, but like, please bring spring to us. I don't know what we did to deserve a late spring, but I'm so here for spring. I will gladly take my Zyrtec every day. Like, please, please give us spring. Have you seen the daffodils at my house? They they bloomed. They've sprung? Yeah. I'll go take a look. There's a lady that walks around my house all the time, and I was sitting, and she walked over, and she said, oh, do you mind if I take a picture of her dog near the flowers? I tell you guys about no. this. No. Oh. Except for the camera. She has a digital camera, and the screen is black, so she's just, like, sitting there snapping photos, oh, no. but can't see what she's taking until she downloads it. Oh. But I'm curious of how they turned out. <laughs> Hopefully so good. You should have offered to take one for her. I mean, with her camera or mine? Hers. Hey no that's another then i gotta email it to her <laughs> so i don't know her that no, well with her camera she doesn't she has a flip phone so it's only the digital camera that's so funny <laughs> <laughs> i don't know come up to my house i will for the spring vibes i will <laughs> my apartment building has beautiful hydrangeas that'll grow so i'm like i'm waiting for them they were a mix of blue and pink last that's my year favorite too flower. like please i need spring vibes what are your favorite flowers roses they're so annoying though so my practical flower is like a tulip those are really pretty those are pretty and if for a touch of white the baby breath oh those are so beautiful the yeah the soft little elegant white ones Mm. the little tiny ones yeah Mm -hmm. i have a funny story about those let's hear it (laughs) sorry guys (laughs) (laughs) so Way back when, I was a flower girl in my cousin's wedding, Emma and I, and we had gotten our hair done, and they had all the little baby breaths in our hair. Mm. Super cute, really nice. And later that night, the wedding's over, of course, I'm going to the bathroom, sorry, (laughs) (laughs) and I feel this pinching burn. I'm like, what is that? Like, what is that? In my armpit. Literally, like, it felt like something was like, ugh. I looked down. Somehow, one of the flowers got in my armpit, and there was an ant <gasps> biting at my skin <laughs> in my armpit. <laughs> like, I can't make this up. It's the weirdest story. But I always think about those flowers in that moment because I was like screaming, like hitting it. And I went downstairs and I swear like people in my house. <laughs> they probably thought they, you were crazy. They weren't alarmed like I was. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just asked. So what's your favorite flower? Peony. Okay. Yeah. Which one? Peony. <gasps> that one's pretty too. Mm-hmm. That's why I was so excited when you planted them. Th- it, but it didn't bloom, right? Something happened. I think happened. those bloomed, but the dahlias didn't bloom. Oh. Which ones are yours? Tricky hydrangea, mm-hmm. which are also the most high maintenance flower. Like you need to like, keep them in water twenty four seven, or they'll droop. Did you know that apparently if. It depends on the soil. Mm -hmm. The pH of the soil. The color that that they'll be, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. With that being said, my next in was going to a park where there is cherry blossoms. Because it's that season. Well, there's a lot, right? In Newark, Branchbrook Park. Frankie, you were saying that. Mm -hmm. I've never actually seen it, and I went to school right over there. I want to drive back this year to actually witness them. I would go with you. It's like this week is cherry blossom isn't this the time where they're out? I thought it was early May. No, no, it's March. And I remember last year I was in DC around this time and they were like, oh, next week is cherry blossom where all the trees are out. Oh. So there's a list that I just saw of a bunch of locations in New Jersey. Bloomfest, Sunday, April 14th. Okay, so two weeks? Yeah. Go check out a cherry blossom near you. Yeah, it's like (laughs) the first two weeks of April. It's looking like. My next in for April is the It's a 10 Leave-In Conditioner. But not the purple bottle. It's a white bottle and it's called light and mm. light blue. It smells so amazing. It smells different than the purple bottle I've used my whole life. But this one I found at Marshall's on oh. sale. So good. And it smells so good. I think it's for blonde hair, but like it works for any other hair too. And you just put it on right after you wash? Yep. Okay. To like detangle and everything and it's heat protectant, you know, whatever it's a ten does. But I love always... the smell of it. It's so amazing. The purple Ooh. one smells good too. Yeah, so. it does. Ooh. But this one smells just better. 
i don't know brighter fresher yum i always have issues with spraying those i feel like every time i've had it the bottle breaks my next one is flowers but we kind of already talked about flowers (laughs) so i'll just get into my next next one which is spring or floral candles they're just a vibe I know you guys think candles are out, but well, I'm still him. a candle girl. <laughs> yeah. So I will light my candles gladly. I will also light my lavender essential oil with the candles and just set the vibe. What I'm burning right now is a lavender lemonade candle that Ooh. smells so delicious. I'm also going to save the jar and best believe I will be drinking my lavender lemonades out of there this summer. <laughs> I was going to say, that is someone- it colored? No. So you can see into you'll, it. Only you'll know that it's special that you're drinking lavender lemonade out of it. Yeah. Oh, no, my lavender lemonade's colored. Oh, that's I make it purple by adding butterfly pea flower to it. That's actually tea that brews blue. And when you add acid to it, it turns purple. I'll make a reel of that. Oh. She's a chemist. Yeah. So the lemon of the acid does that? Yeah. Wow, I want to try that. And then I call it my mermaid juice. Oh. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I want to try that too. It's so good. I have edible glitter too, so I'll make it sparkly. <laughs> I'm so. I don't know how I'm I feel about so eating edible extra. glitter. <laughs> okay, so maybe I won't make that when you're over, but from my personal batch, best believe I make it sparkly. <laughs> On to you. My next in, and I really hope I've never said this before, because I just I always want to talk about it. <laughs> Crab Rangoon memes. <laughs> I love when people send me them. If you're listening and you find a funny one, please send it to the neighbor's pod. And I will appreciate it so much. I think they're hilarious. I always try to show my family they never <laughs> think it's as funny as I do. But people are just so creative. And did they like your pin? Yeah, they loved it. And I was like, where did she get this? Oh my God, Haley got me a pin and it says slut for crab rangoons. I have it on my clinical bag. No one has noticed it yet though. <laughs> They've noticed that they just don't know how to approach you. <laughs> They're like, well, this girl's weird. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw one up on the story. I just saw a funny video that <laughs> sent, and it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Another character. <laughs> <laughs> character? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> to my, one of my work calls, someone was like, oh, we have a new character to introduce you to. I've seen people say that online, like, I don't know, like, you're um, the main character, so everyone's yeah. a character in your life, but never, like, actually in real life like that. <laughs> Well, you know, like, oh, she's a character. But I, when you say it's like, when you, you know when somebody calls you an NPC, you're like... <laughs> He's just a character in your life. He's a character to the people now. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> anyways, anyways. My next April in is fajitas. Oh. Specifically grilled chicken fajitas. Did you order a fajita the other day? I got a burrito because you told me to get a burrito. But like I had ordered from them a couple days before and I had gotten a burrito from them. I mean, a, a fajita. fajita. God. Yum. I'm in my Mexican food era. I love a chicken fajita with the fresh tortillas. Food? Please, yes. do you like I will refried beans? Eat it. Yes, I like black beans. Okay. I like black beans too. Guys, I love Mexican food. Mexican so food chicken fajita with the peppers and onions and a fresh tortilla and then chips and pico de gallo. Mm. Are you kidding? It sizzles when it so comes over to you. Good. <laughs> we oh out. Gosh. We should. So oh, hard. There. Down. I love tacos. Tacos are my favorite food love they make it up there for me to think about as one of my last meals not mm-hmm. gonna lie tacos i agree i think a so fajita good. could be my last meal that's so good so many options mm-hmm. great in yeah so <laughs> in. my second to last in is putting plants outside for the sunlight i've been doing that with my plants my one plant was looking little rough i thought she wasn't gonna make it through till spring mm. she is coming back to life with me putting her Aww. outside when i'm home on working from home or just on the weekends as soon as i see the sun come over my balcony i'm like go get your sun get that vitamin d whatever you need to do plant like please hang on for dear life oh emma gave me a mini cactus and i'm worried i'm gonna kill it already i've had two cactuses and i've killed both of them i've God, killed them i'm pretty sure it? i was overwatering my succulents back in the day i was giving them a little cap full of water once a week mm-hmm. oh that's and way I, too much i think but that's what i was told to do i took care of it with the that care instructions i was given i think the instructions said bi-weekly for mine but i definitely put way more than a cap full Ooh. 
go to water it for like two months. I know. And then go back and give it a capful. Oh, my next in is studying outdoors. Mm. And I'm wondering, I'm curious if this is actually thought about by teachers, if they choose to make the worst semesters in the spring because they know that it will be like lift up the students' spirits. Because if I were taking the class I'm taking in the winter or last semester in the fall, I think I would have been so <laughs> depressed and like not motivated at all. Because the only way that I'm getting through it is when I'm out in the sun sitting, mm. trying to study. I'm so curious about that. But Good anyway, theory. my point is, if you're feeling unmotivated, go outside, get some vitamin D, feel the air going around you. Or if you can't, at least sit by a window because it does make a difference. My next in is Sex in the City. Mm. I'm back to watching it. I'm on season three. It's so good. I never watched it. It's such a good show. Like every time I get back into it, I'm like, why did I stop watching it? Yeah. How many so episodes good. in a season? Oh boy, I don't know. 20? ish oh that's they're a lot long, they're long seasons yeah i want to watch that it's really good how I many was... seasons ah i don't know there's a lot too right there's at least four or mm. five i think because i'm on season three and it's not it's not over yet mm -hmm. great show everyone should watch it there's always some like cute videos of it and every time I'm like oh that looks good I haven't got what do you watch it on max okay mm. okay i can do that mm -hmm. my last in is using an AHA BHA body lotion and or a retinol body lotion. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to show your body the same love ingredient wise that you do your face. I've been using the pharmacy 12% AHA BHA honey resurfacing serum. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that's the full name. Mm -hmm. Don't clock me. That got rid of my KP. I didn't even know what KP was before using this product. But I put it on everywhere. I woke up the next morning. My legs were so smooth. Explain KP to them. It's like the little strawberry legs or arms, like skin texture. bumpies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's skin texture. It's basically just a buildup of dead skin. I don't know why it didn't occur to me to exfoliate my body chemically to get rid of the dead skin because it works so well on my face mm -hmm. i will say i got gifted that and i am now about to run out of it so i have been using the exfoliating body peels from dr dennis gross and it's doing like the same thing also so i'll be using that like every other day but using like that one bottle cleared out the kp on my legs for sure and my arms can be smoother so i'm hoping with that little bit of physical exfoliation mm -hmm. with the peels it'll like get that last little bit mm -hmm. off that's so funny you bring that up because i was watching a vlog right before you guys got here from samantha joe and she was using another kp thing but it was from coco kind so if pharmacy might not be in budget coco kind is very affordable they have one that does the same exact thing mm -hmm. she was using it on her arms and she had crazy results from it mm-hmm Another good one that I've heard of is the First Aid Beauty. Mm. I haven't personally tried that, but I think I've seen one that to one consider. too. I should try that. But yeah, definitely incorporate one of those into your routine if you're not using one already. It's totally changed my game. I got so emotional talking to my friend that gifted me it about Aww. it. I was like, "You literally changed my life." Like I didn't know I could ever even fix this. Damn. Body care has it's changed so much so if you haven't evaluated your body care if you don't have a body care routine now is the time to build one that was i have no more ends actually oh boy that was my last one <laughs> so you guys get to react to all of mine Ooh. <laughs> my next in is wearing your thrifted clothes i have a habit of buying all these quote-unquote cool clothes and i'm like oh yeah this is gonna elevate my wardrobe and then i never wear them they sit mm. in my closet and i'm like well what am i gonna do with that I started wearing my thrifted clothes this week and I get compliments on them. Ooh. Like, wow, crazy, crazy thought. <laughs> Whenever I get complimented on something, it's usually something I thrifted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like my one white sweater that's like pretty open in the front. Mm -hmm. Every time I wear that without fail, I get a compliment. I love that thing. And I love your shades of green blue sweater too. That's oh. thrifted, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, love. I wore and that one I Instagram thrifted. So there's people, Haley used to be one of them, that will go out and thrift and then resell it at a very affordable price still for you. Like, so you can virtually thrift if you can't actually go out and thrift. Because oh. mm -hmm. thrifting yourself is pretty time consuming. But following accounts that like run thrifting accounts for resale, 
so worth it that's where i found my blue green sweater 10 out of 10 my next in kind of goes against thrifting but banana republic abercrombie and hollister Ooh. these stores have the most impressive spring collections right now and when i say banana republic i'm not shopping full price <laughs> um banana republic we have an outlet in our local mall and the banana republic outlet crazy everything's mm. always half off and the quality is so good mm -hmm. but hollister right now everyone go see hollister.com if you're listening to this they have so much they have linen they have athleisure they have skirts they have skorts so yeah. and they have dress skorts and all of them are cute they're not like tacky ugly skorts yeah so how good. long are the skorts like mid thigh okay yeah they're not they're not like whore skirts <laughs> they're like I, for middle school i've got the vegas tournament coming up and skorts are good to wear in bowling and it'll be summer so that'll keep me nice and cool yeah. so i'm trying to think no like, definitely check out is Hollister. it an appropriate it's definitely appropriate. okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> a score is awesome skorts, skorts are, are great incredible. you can move so much and just not have to worry about it yeah next in is duncan i know last <laughs> month i mean it's like a teeter tot like it's a seesaw <laughs> with me duncan's so in you do have your so moments good. with Duncan. I do have my moments, and when it's good, it's so good. <laughs> so right now, it's so good, and I mm -hmm. love Duncan. What flavor? No flavor. Medium so iced order? coffee, almond milk, and if I'm feeling crazy, I do one sugar. But I've been trying to. I've been doing no sugar, but <laughs> sometimes I just need one Whoa. sugar. Whoa. Well, no, because if you order a medium iced coffee with sugar, it comes with like three or four. Yeah, I'm like you don't need that much. No, it all sits at the bottom. Yeah, disgusting. But one sugar is fine mm -hmm. next in is the mantra matching isn't embarrassing i don't know if you guys experience this but sometimes if i think my outfit looks too put together i'm like that's embarrassing that everyone's gonna know i tried to match this outfit i know what you mean what do you mean match like if i have a red polka dot headband and a red polka dot skirt they're gonna be like i know she planned that and that's not casual that no like, that's she's so trying cute. hard for that I know I need to live that way, but yeah. it's stressing like, for the girls. Yeah, I guess so. The girls will get it. Yeah, because sometimes I feel so embarrassed that even if the outfit's cute, I'm like, everyone knows that I like tried for this outfit. You know, like no. it's weird. It's Did weird you thing. think my outfit last week was cute or that I tried too hard? No, it was cute. Okay, I know it's the same thing. But it's with just me, in your head. Yeah. yeah, with me, it's like no, they know. <laughs> no, but then it's like okay, they're appreciating that you put the time in. I know. Even if they know. That's why my mantra is matching isn't embarrassing. But it's a it's a learning yeah. learning process. Next, <laughs> getting ice cream every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to that time of the year We've that Haley oh, yes. goes. Um, my local ice cream shop is open for the season and my boyfriend and I have not missed a weekend since they've opened. Go support your local ice cream shop because Emphasis on local. Yeah, local. Don't mm. go to Dairy Queen. Sorry, Julia. <laughs> That was sick, man. <laughs> I don't like Dairy Queen's ice cream. But if you want to try the Dairy Queen, the new uh, Funfetti covered soft serve that they have. Oh, I saw an ad for that. It looks good. I worked at DQ for like seven years. <laughs> I felt that. I felt that attack. <laughs> but just support no. local. Go get homemade ice cream. It's so much better. Yeah. Unless I want a blizzard, but. Yeah. If you want a blizzard, go to Dairy Queen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anything else, go local. Yeah, no. Local. <laughs> local. Next putting yourself in uncomfortable situations is in Ooh. not like dangerous ones but ones that you know are good for you but you're just scared to do it mm -hmm. just do it i just saw a quote recently and it said something basically about being scared to do things you're like but what if this happens because i'm just so nervous and they're like do it scared anyway mm. and it's just like oh yeah better do it scared than not do it at all yeah what if it turns out right yeah i like to think about that what if it all work what if it all goes right Mm -hmm. don't think about what can go wrong what if it all goes right and why isn't it worth it to just try my next in was hosier <laughs> julia touched Ooh. on that then so american which we also touched on this morning this morning we're, this morning. we're in tune <laughs> the beginning of this episode and my last in is tennis Ooh. oh that's... my boyfriend and i just got new rackets and it's so fun oh yeah i love playing tennis it's a that's a real workout i've never tried tennis okay my problem with tennis is that it never ends so i always end up yelling at the end of a tennis match i'm like no we've been playing this for two hours yeah. like it's over but like there's matches and then best of three and whatever whatever but in the beginning you get to wear cute outfits <laughs> that's mm -hmm. a plus for me and it's it's a good workout you do yeah. a lot of moving 
I had a friend who plays tennis in college, and this was during COVID, so she needed people to help practice hit. Oh my god, I was dying because you're really you're running from side to uh-huh. side. It's like no wonder all of the tennis players are just yeah. shredded and yeah. <laughs> insane. Like, I don't get it. I'd probably like tennis then. So my problem with running is you're just running. But running with a purpose, like soccer, for example, it makes sense to me. So I don't mind, like, running and getting sweaty. Yeah. So I should give tennis a try. You should. Yeah. And I feel like spring is the time to try out new fun outdoor activities because you've been locked in for so long. Mm-hmm. True. You can play tennis with this whenever you want. Yeah, I'll come. Yeah. I will. Oh, pickleball? Oh, I... I have a tough relationship with pickleball. I don't know. Why? I don't know. I don't love it. It kind of bothers me. It bothers me how crazy it took off and, like, everyone plays pickleball now. You know what I mean? Agree. There's, like, a pickleball community Mm. and it's, like, elitist and stuff. All the old rich people? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) The pickleball community is crazy. There was apparently so many injuries last summer with pickleball injury, Like, with older adults playing it oh i'm sure their bones can't handle all the moving <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys. i believe it well i used to love badminton and then they had pickleball on my job so we would play it every so often i'm like i can get into this those are all my ends for april Woo woo. lots Woo-woo. of them yeah i had a lot i liked the fireball though like the yeah the, the rapid end, fire you know? yeah rapid fire, <laughs> <laughs> fireball. <laughs> You're right, I'm like wait that's not it <laughs> fireball <laughs> <laughs> it's time for outs for april and my first one i am very passionate about the croissant cookies <laughs> that have been everywhere oh, remember when i when you guys were trying to be like oh but didn't you have a cookie for breakfast no no i don't have a problem with having a cookie for <laughs> breakfast and i don't have a problem with croissants so you'd think i would love this new thing that every coffee shop I in the world is copying from the original bakery in paris the croissant cookie but they Just, make no sense when you're eating it they make literally no sense the croissant is already cooked then you put it back in the oven to cook the cookie dough and so now the croissant is hard and the cookie dough is raw and then you're biting it and you're getting all these different textures it just makes no sense and yeah. for that reason i'm out i don't like that it never made sense to me I but didn't it get has it. so much potential. Yeah, it does. I don't even see the potential in I it. I see the potential. A good buttery croissant, and then you get a little chocolate. It's a chocolate croissant. Yeah. Maybe they need to so wait, make... Take a chocolate croissant, and instead of putting the little chocolate bars in it, put raw cookie dough, frozen cookie dough in it, and then bake it as is. But maybe there's an issue with like the temperature and how mu- like yeah. fast the croissant cooks what they need to do but that's what i'm saying frozen cookie <laughs> dough it'll defrost and cook within the croissant while the croissant is cooking yeah what do they need to do oh yeah they need to make a new formula <laughs> they need to make a new dough that incorporates both a cookie batter and a croissant yeah but i still don't understand if it would flake the way it should yeah i don't know how they can reformulate <laughs> croissant dough <laughs> like, it's, it's a tough a process science. as it is you know so <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, but any I've had one croissant cookie and it just was it was not good. Okay. Hmm. And I was raving about it to them too. I was like, guys, look at this croissant. There was cookie. like hype for it. Yeah. The what I was gonna say about the croissant cookie was an in is the cr- the quaffle, the croissant waffle, that is good. That was good. If you ever see that near you, go try that out. Mm-hmm. But my first out is living the drafts. I'm actually going to declutter my TikTok drafts and either edit it and post it or just delete the video and actually abandon it. Mm -hmm. Either post it or don't. I have some drafts that are like probably from two or three years ago now at this point. Like, girl, either post that or don't. Mm -hmm. Like, what are we doing here? It's not even the same person anymore. Literally. Literally. My first out. This one kills me. Music on Instagram photos. Oh, yeah. I can't stand it. I love it. Mm Mm-mm. I can't. My issue is that every time I open the phone, it's always the first thing and it immediately blasts music. I don't know. Music I just, on a, a photo doesn't need music. I know. But there's certain songs that I'm listening to at that time or like that. I think that photo channels the energy of, which is why I'll, I'll include it. Like if I'm including music, it's intentional. I'm not doing it just to do no, it. No, it's definitely always intentional because 
every time i see it i think it's like a guy posting and it's a drake song on it i'm like oh god okay well i haven't seen that (laughs) listen to the lyrics (laughs) hair done nails done everything (laughs) did like no. Like, I can't. One of the ones that I saw was like a couple posting about like their last year together, and it was the song Beautiful Things connected to it. And I was like, see, that's cute. That's like doing it tastefully. But, but make that, it a video that's then. That's exactly my point. Agree. I would rather just see a video montage of that. Yeah. Or, you know how I guess, didn't MySpace used to do this back in the day? You could have a song on your profile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe even that. I, I would know. be so here for a song of the day. I will share my music taste. Well, you could do that on the... You can do that already on Instagram. In the notes section? Yeah. Oh. Inside. I don't like that. <laughs> Janina. <laughs> I don't... I do not like that feature. See? We well, got opinions. That's what it's there for. We yeah. got opinions on Instagram these days. I think Instagram doesn't need music. But I like Instagram on the stories. The music on the stories. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Speaking about music, the music ban on Instagram and TikTok... So it started with TikTok and all these TikTok videos were getting muted, you know, because Universal pulled all their artists from TikTok catalog, which one is insane because we talked about this with the TikTok band, but TikTok's made for music. Like, that's how you discover people. That's like how artists blow up. Like, it makes no sense. Mm. It but, was originally musically. Like, yeah. are we kidding? Come yeah. on now. Um, but also just the fact that any video you had using a sound got muted, even if you had your personal audio over it, that was cut too. Really? So if you add a song back, your personal audio talking over is gone. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. That sucks. And now it's extending into Instagram, which I knew was going to come quickly once the TikTok thing started. But now all my old reels and videos from like high school are getting mm-hmm. muted because I used music. Like, how dare I use music to capture a memory? Yeah. That is so sad, actually. Yeah. All like nearly half of my vlogmas from whatever last year the music's off of it so sad the vibes are not there when the music's not on it that's what it's there for (laughs) and the song selection is so intentional to the day Uh uh-huh yeah i hate it yeah next up planning is out planning is out like my end was doing like just do the things you want within reason if you need to like plan a vacation obviously (laughs) plan a vacation but like this is a crazy take you know (laughs) it's i feel like there's so much going on in my head that if i were to sit down and plan i would just waste time by not doing things that i just need to go out and do things can we show the folks you need journal that has all of your plans in it yeah so true (laughs) good one julia okay well maybe i've already got all my planning done which (laughs) is why it's out now but i don't know I didn't bring that one with me that today. so real, it's Julia. You know that <laughs> no, just that's the content one. That's a plan. A content what? <laughs> Journal. Okay, that's for us. So I don't feel like... So wait, are you talking about like having a plan of your day? Like, I don't... I feel like sir, there's just some people that will just plan their whole life away and just let it slip by instead of actually doing something okay okay. like just go out and do the things like what are you planning for the perfect day doesn't exist you have to go make each day your perfect day Mm. don't like i feel like planning can sometimes be very dismissive in terms of like oh like i'll just wait for this or like this day one day like i don't know you know I, what I, I mean? I see what you mean. Yeah. It's a fine balance, but like just saying planning is very <laughs> We need vague. some planning in life. So. so I got you. That explanation makes more sense. <laughs> like, don't let your life slip by. Yeah. Because you're just planning for things. Like, just go do things instead. Like the cat in the hat, that girl, she was stuck to her planner and the brother made her live life a little. Oh. Do you guys remember? Love a cat in the hat. <laughs> My next out is lying to fluff up a story Mm. and i can't tell you how like this really just kills me because i hate when it's so obvious when someone's telling a story and there's just some ridiculous thing it's like why what's the point just tell your story let it be entertaining if it is but i just don't maybe it's more of a pet peeve that's why i think we should really do a pet peeve episode we should do that because i got a lot to say i'll have to make a list of (laughs) active pet peeves (laughs) yeah (laughs) It comes easy to me. (laughs) My next out is life going by so fast. How is it April? Yeah. You know, like how? Where it was just Christmas, you know? It's, it is. Life goes by so fast. Mm Mm-hmm. 
so fast and it makes me really really sad Mm -hmm. my second to last out is not knowing zodiac shit it's 2024 know the basics at least like know the 12 signs someone that reminds you of each one of them even if it's a celebrity and then know your big your big three that's your sun your moon your rising i think if you know just that you can understand probably almost any reference and there's a lot of them like a lot of people will say like oh you're two-faced like a gemini if you don't know how a gemini acts you don't understand the reference so it's 2024 pick a, go to the internet just learn the basics of the basics of the zodiac stuff ingrain that into your head and just tuck it away for whenever someone brings it up in conversation because it happens a lot or whenever there's a pop culture reference that mentions this, something zodiac related you're welcome you know what would be funny if we had someone on the podcast who's super anti zodiac yeah. signs and then have you guys have a debate oh my god that'd be so fun if I any of you it. hate zodiac signs you don't believe in them and can like hold a conversation about it let us know contact us yeah you'll be our first guest i think it's fun but i d- certainly don't know enough i think it's just fun to have just the knowledge in the back of your brain yeah that's what i'm saying everyone yeah. ha- should have at least just that whether yeah. you like it or don't it, yeah it comes up too much in life and in culture for you to not know about it my next out is two milky lattes Ugh. you're all excited to get your coffee order you go to the shop and then it's just you know it's gonna be bad by the look of it and that's really out for me it's so upsetting it will ruin my day so yeah that's horrible <laughs> <laughs> my next out is people getting punched in the face in new york city specifically girls what yeah i just heard about that today at work yeah i have to go practice my pepper gel when i get home and carry it so my it started the week recording this this came out on tuesday this creator hallie who i love she was walking in soho or like noho kind of nolita area and she got decked in the face because she said she was looking at her phone like walking texting someone and she had a huge huge thing on her forehead and then after she posted it now there's like 13 girls in the same area that it's happened to so is it the same person doing it now they think there's like three guys but allegedly one of the guys got caught because whoever hallie like didn't know what was happening to her when it happened so there was someone around her that called the police after the incident happened mm-hmm. and they reported it there's an ant on my computer i saw that kind of like cruising oh why didn't you tell me <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um but yeah so there's apparently three guys going around at soho area like north soho and just hitting women and it's really scary and new york has just gotten to be so dangerous and i know not all of new york is bad and it's just that these stories are being shared but it's still scary yeah it's really scary for no reason and like why do men have to where are these ants coming from why do men have to do the things they do to women it's 2024 that's so bad yeah. new york city is chaotic right now an impromptu out that i just thought of is kind of related to what we were just talking about but my opinion not knowing about what's happening in the world and or politics is a major out especially in an election year mm. i'm sorry this is like our lives that could change mm-hmm. like depending on who actually gets voted back into office or not like if you're pissed off about the TikTok ban, you better make sure that you're able to vote and go out and vote this year. Look ho- look up how your representative voted on the TikTok ban. I'm pretty sure you can do that online. Yeah, you can. And if they didn't like if you don't like how they voted, aka if you're upset TikTok is getting banned, do not vote for them again. So if you feel so strongly about something, get educated on it, do your research, stay informed, look up how these people plan like what their plan of action is. Granted, some of it can be all talk and no say, so look up their action history too. Mm-hmm. So not being informed about what's happening is just a major, major out. It's an election year. Wake up, get informed, look up multiple sources. Period. I know so many people that do not vote because they're like, so it doesn't matter. To me. I don't get it. Why people would you not vote? People quite literally died yeah. and fought against the biggest army in the world at the time for this country to be able to have this right to vote it is like they're probably crying in their graves right now at the fact of how many people don't vote honestly Damn, sorry sorry I, I mean i'm 
it's no, true it's terrible no, really i look is. at the stats and it's like almost half the country doesn't go out and vote because they have that mindset gen z is good on voting though our stats are crazy so i'm honestly fine with gen z voting and the older people not now mm. we'll have more gen cool z in it. this election year to vote yeah. too so it should be different but again rallying the troops you have to go out and vote mm -hmm, if yeah. we if enough of us don't go out and vote the gen z voice isn't heard and we'll just get overpowered by everyone else me and julia voted last year together oh yeah of you. i think this will be my fun. third time <laughs> voting like in the major election because i had 2016 2020 and i'll have 2024 wow all big years yeah yeah Damn. i have not had a not serious election year and that's why i will not shut up about it i guess they're all kind of serious though right <laughs> yeah but yeah, like some now don't matter <laughs> as much <laughs> but like the last few have been very polarizing yeah, yeah I was gonna and say, if they haven't you been this dramatic like, mm -hmm. and if you feel so strongly about something that you'll complain about it in person in any capacity to your friends to your family online go out and vote yeah. mm -hmm. and if you're not going to go out and vote don't waste your breath complaining that is my hot take and i will stand on that yeah I hate when people complain and do nothing about it exactly mm -hmm. like you don't have the right to complain then if you're not going to try to do something this is your chance to do something mm -hmm. well my next out is mechanics ripping people off Ooh. personally haven't experienced it <laughs> because anytime i have to deal with something like that i'm like oh um it's fine don't worry about it my dad will look at it if they're asking me if they want to repair something but i feel like they do this on purpose i think they hire cute mechanics to rip women off <laughs> and that is my take because every time i go it's always like a cute set of people and they're like well did you know that you need to you want to buy this kit to clean off your battery i'm like you don't need to do that to clean up. No. It's just always some, it's always a lie. <laughs> it's always a lie. And right. I want to know what goes on in the hiring process for mechanics. <laughs> you have to be cute. And it's terrible because like, let's say you don't have the knowledge of things like that or what to say in those situations. There's probably so many people that are ripped off. Yeah. And it's terrible. I know it's a business, but it's sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I'm that so funny. I got an oil change two weeks ago, so it's been on my mind. I still have to get an oil change. Oh. I gotta do that. Um, Next out, being mysterious. <laughs> you know, <laughs> some people are like, oh, I'm not going to post because I want to be so mysterious. I don't want people to know. Who? Ca no one cares about you, really. Oh, that's yeah. me. No, that's no me. one cares, though. If you're not posting, you're not crossing you're anyone's not mind. <laughs> no one cares you're posting a dark screen. You don't have millions of followers. There's I'm sorry. There's literally no, no one's, one's thinking into about it. you. Oh, my God. I find it fun to share pictures. <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't. These people don't need to know what I'm doing. But like what's the point of social media then right like it's to share photos so if i'm yeah. doing something cool i'm gonna share the photos stop being mysterious no one cares about it no one cares about you no one cares about your life post what you want but don't make up this whole like personality about yourself that you're trying to maintain yeah it's, you're not like silly. kim kardashian yeah. because i feel like i shit post but at the same time I'm like try to maintain a level of like privacy at the same time i don't know well, having privacy is different. Like, yeah. don't post your address online or, like, this is my house. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, like, yeah. if you're out and about doing something, like, just post You know what I mean? Like, people intentionally try to be mysterious online. And it's yeah. like, yeah, get over it, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> my last out is loofahs and any other physical exfoliation <gasps> like that. Mm. After using my AHA body lotion, are you kidding me? I will never go back to one of those. I do not care how much myself in the shower. I'll use my hand. I know I'm no. gonna exfoliate the dead skin away. My with that. African net sponge s suds up my bar of soap like no other. Oh, well, you're using I a use, bar of soap. I use one yeah. of those too. Well, I use it for my my body. What's yeah, that? body wash, gel, too. whatever. If I have liquid soap, I'll just squeeze it on on my hand and <gasps> just rub it around. But it won't set up. I just need a. I've you done, take a little at a time. I just think that it's you're using so much more when I do that. Yeah. Versus when I have it on the sponge or the net. I love the net. That's my out. Yeah. I'm literally gonna like throw mine out. Live your truth. Yeah. yeah. I am. Not even like a washcloth because I think a washcloth. No, easy I used too. to use one of those. I hated it. Oh. Mm. After a while, I hated it. I was like, I don't get this. <laughs> Fair. I feel like my outs are so silly. Anyway. Okay. Next out is not picking up your dog's poop. Mm. 
which is just so rude and it's funny because someone must have pooped on my neighbor's lawn and they came over asking if we had the footage of who did it on the camera <laughs> i'm like sorry dude i don't have that your part of the block is so different than Such my part tea. The like there's always just something going on um but it, it is so rude when i'm walking my dog and then i see it, it's just like what's up with you man <laughs> i always pick up after blaze it's not fun but it's part of owning a dog i can't yeah. imagine not picking up after dog yeah yeah our town recently posted something and it was saying please pick up the poop because apparently if it rains and then the feces go out into the thing it's not good for the environment or whatever Ugh. yeah hmm. Ew. next out crop jackets good for nothing they're mm. not keeping you warm i get it if they're a stylistic choice but so cute as of right now the weather doesn't cooperate with those yeah hate a crop jacket i'm no more outs i think i'm out too actually is it time for my fireball <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> fireball fireball <laughs> outs reacting to everything and everyone people don't care for your reaction and if it's not like <laughs> benefiting the world keep it to yourself are you talking about like the guys that react to like silly vi- videos hey if, if she fits just like who <laughs> cares literally or even if someone's complaining to you about something and it offends you you don't have to react to them and be mm. like oh you hurt my feelings move on with it <laughs> just get over it I'm, I'm into peace right now lately and not everything needs a reaction okay that's that next online shopping i love to walk through the mall lately mm. because i've as i've been saying hollister is popping off banana republic too and just you get to try things on and you get to experience what clothes that you were gonna buy like imagine they don't look good on you saved you time and money there yeah also you could try on things that you thought you weren't gonna like and they end up fitting you perfectly mm. and you wouldn't have bought it if you were just shopping online that's true always check the clearance too oh yeah online clearance is never the same it's true next out is visco i used to love visco haven't used it in months hmm. same yeah i canceled my subscription i never paid for that i did i didn't pay for it. i know i i'm so cheap with, i will not pay for a single subscription i do pay for apple music but that's it mm-hmm. yeah this goes out also basketball season i'm ready for baseball to start i love going to baseball games Ooh, love it and my last out is nickelodeon <sighs> Tea. if you know you know have you guys been watching quiet on set yeah 